your storm station forecast with meteorologist Marissa Nuso. Let's start off with a check of the tropics. If you have the WBRZ weather or news app, you already know about this. Kind of hard to see, but right here, this is what we're calling potential tropical cyclone number two. Kind of hard to see because it doesn't have a perfect circulation just yet, and that's why it's potential tropical cyclone. They have to go ahead and name it because it's about to impact some areas here, the Windward Islands, the northern part of Venezuela, and they need to start issuing tropical storm warnings for those areas, so they have to give it some kind of name. It will likely organize either later today or early tomorrow into a tropical storm and then move in th through the southern Caribbean could potentially become our first hurricane. It is forecast to become a Category 1 hurricane before making a landfall somewhere in Nicaragua. So staying well away from us, that's what we like to hear, but I'll keep you updated. Check back every day for new updates on that system. In addition to that, we've got a couple of other things going on. This one, it formed in a very similar location to where uh, the potential tropical cyclone is. It's likely going to stay in the Caribbean with a low chance of developing only 20% for now. You may have heard about this guy. This one is going to be helping us out with a little extra rain this week. Not likely to organize into anything, but definitely we'll see some impacts from it and a little bit of afternoon rain. See a little bit of cloud cover out there now from that system as well. It's currently 87 degrees and the clouds are pretty high up, so our sensor's not even really picking up on many of them. Lots of folks dealing with rain already. Ascension Parish. Now we're starting to see the thunder creeping in on Denham Springs. Hammond dealing with some rain right now as well. The rest of this will make its way into Baton Rouge over the next couple of hours. By 7 o'clock, we'll start to see the rest of those showers fizzle out. Between about noon and 3 o'clock is when showers will start to bubble up every day. This is Tuesday around 3 o'clock. Some isolated heavy downpours definitely in the mix, and those showers continuing on and off through the rest of the evening. This time of year, showers and storms really live and die by the power of the sun. So even with a little help from a tropical low just to our south, we do still need the daylight to get those showers up and running. And then as the sun goes down, everything fizzles out. You'll see that again on Wednesday between about noon and 3 is when scattered showers start to bubble up over the area and then fizzling out after the sun goes down. Rainfall totals coming in between about 1 and 3 inches with higher amounts a little closer to the coast. Isolated higher amounts, absolutely a possibility. We saw some folks yesterday get three inches with just one storm. So that's something we'll be keeping a very close eye on. You do have a chance to catch a shower every single day this week. So stay connected to the storm station.